Today I want to go over the use of the uh, Dakota knife for combination padlocks. Here is a Sparrows Dakota knife and here is one that I made out of feeler gauge. I just bought a uh, set of feeler gauges and made mine out of a 0.07 gauge used a pair of uh, snippers to uh, to cut this out with and put a uh, heat shrink handle on it and here's the shears I used to cut the uh, feel gauge with get these a uh, automobile place or maybe even in Walmart and I have five padlocks here. I have a sesame, Corbin, a Master M176, a Master 875, a Master 175, the newer, the newest one, the older ones are Real easy to slip a tool in at poor tolerances, but the newer ones are much tighter. And a Brinks, which I've never seen a Brinks or any uh, laminated combination lock. They all uh, all the Brinkses look like uh, these. They're combination locks, but this is the first one I've seen that's laminated. Found this at uh, Walmart. And let's uh, start doing this. And we'll use the uh, sparrows. Uh, this is a 0.07 inches or 1.3 millimeter feel gauge material. We'll go into the left side of the first wheel all the way into the back to press the shackle and pop it open. Next we we'll do the uh, Master one M176. Now this one does have poor tolerances like the old 175 did. So it's easier to get a thicker tool in here than this thinner 0.07 back to the back to press the shackle get the tool in there we go got that open thought that'd be the easiest one and here we have the master 875 and you can't use this tool on it. It uh, doesn't go in at all. I think it has a shield in it somehow. So what you've got to do here is pull on this shackle, rotate the uh, wheels, and find the, uh, the loose wheel. And that will be the number for that. So see here. Get a good grip. And first wheel is binding. We'll go to the next number. It's binding. It's binding. 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 Get a good grip on it. That feels loose, but let me make sure it's tight. Tight. Yep. 
that's moving, so that's the first number. That's binding. That's binding. That's binding. That's binding. That feels loose, so we'll leave that there. Go to the next one. Binding. 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 Loose. Binding. Is that? That's nine eight. No nine three one five. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah. it doesn't have a spring on it. You have to pull it up. But there we go. Here's the master one seventy five. And we'll go into the uh, second wheel on this one. Let's see what I mean by tight tolerances there. Press on the shackle. And there we have it. it. Does wreaks havoc on your uh, decoder knife there. I have to use a pair of pliers and a hammer to smooth that out. And then we have the brinks. Let's see. I lost my yellow one. Here it is in my lap. So with this one too, we'll go behind the uh, second wheel on the left hand side and see if we can get that. Again, it's a tight tolerance. There we go. So five combination padlocks, four open with the decoder, one open with uh, the binding, lever, uh, binding wheels there. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, maybe you learned something from it and how to make an uh, inexpensive uh, decoder tool out of feeler gauges. Talk to you later.